AI and AI assistants are everywhere now, and they all look kind of similar, but this assistant is a little bit different. It's a side browser that lets you summon your favorite apps, websites, and tools in less than a second. But that's not all, so let's find out. Hey, how's it going? My name is Xu. I'm a former data scientist and now a full-time creator. Essentially, Airy can keep your favorite web pages and AI assistants right at the side of your computer, making it perfect for quick lookups and uh, not taking. If you're a heavy browser user with needs for lots of research, taking notes and uh, multitasking, you might like this a lot. Okay, so you can summon Airy by either a simple slide from the edge of your screen or a keyboard shortcut, no matter what you're doing on your computer. This lets you access your favorite tools without interrupting your workflow. You don't have to switch between windows to use different tools like ChatGPT, your Note app, Gmail, Google Calendar, um, Notion, and, you know, pretty much anything. For example, I, I love that I can quickly check my to-do list um, I have my task app pinned on the toolbar so I can open it fast. When I'm not sure what to do next, um, my task list is just one click away. Also, when something pops up that I need to do later, I just add it to my task list. Or if it's an idea or thought, I can jot it down on a note. I really like how quickly I can write things down without leaving the current page. It feels similar to having a notepad on my desk that I can grab whenever I want, but it's digital. Now. Depending on your preference, you can change the size of the window, whether you want a small sidebar for quick checks or a larger window for more in-depth work. I usually keep it medium because I don't want it to cover the whole screen, but if I'm seeing something that's too small to read, for example, I can just increase the size. Now, say I want to add more tool or website, they already have a list of popular ones, so I can add them to the toolbar. There are apps like WhatsApp, Twitter, Google Translate, Slack, Telegram, and so on. So if there's some that you use a lot you can choose from here and add it to the toolbar but of course you can add ones that are not here as well you just need to search for the app or the the website you want to keep on the toolbar say i want to add um, google photos i just type that in in the search bar open the page right click the icon and just select favorite now i can open it quickly from airy Personally, I like having email apps like Gmail. It's very convenient because you get to check your emails really quickly. Um, I actually use another email app called Shortwave instead of Gmail, but you know, whatever email app you use, you can pin it on the toolbar. Similarly, if you use messaging apps a lot, it's useful to have them as well, such as Slack and uh, Telegram. I use WhatsApp sometimes, so it's nice to have it right on the toolbar. Also, I find useful having a calendar app as well. I have Google Calendar pinned there so I can see if there are any meetings or appointments that I need to attend. Um, the, if it's an online meeting, I can join it right away from the calendar. Many people probably use Notion. Um, it's also the tool I use to manage my business and my content calendar. So being able to get to it quickly has been incredibly useful. For example, when I come up with a new content idea, I can open my Notion in Airy and add it to my idea list. Also, when a client asks me for my next available slot, for example, I can just open my content calendar in Notion and see. Many people use Notion to take notes and uh, manage projects and tasks, so it's great that it works really well with Airy. Um, some of you use AI almost every day like me. There is ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, and more. But the one I use is TextCortex, which actually works great with Airy. It's sort of an all-around app that I use to get some help with my daily life and work, from brainstorming ideas to doing research. When I'm writing or trying to come up with the title for a blog post or YouTube video, I can ask the assistant for more suggestions. All right, another feature that I really like is when you copy text and press the copy shortcut again, Airy can perform a search based on the text instead of you having to manually paste and search. Um, you know, of course you can just use your default browser to do it, but I find using Airy to be faster and uh, frictionless. You can use this to instantly translate text as well. You just need to highlight the text you want to translate, press the copy shortcut twice, and Airy will automatically translate it for you in just a second. But Airy uses AI to translate, uh, which means it's context aware and more accurate than Google Translate. 
Right, speaking of search, one of my favorite features of Airy is quick search. Um, when you press keyboard shortcut, it will open the search bar. You can type whatever you want to know. I like this a lot because it's fast and I don't need to leave the current page to search. And when I finish, I can go straight back to the original page. But what's cool is that they also have an option to use Perplexity. Perplexity is an AI powered search engine that instantly gives you the, the summary of the top results. Um, uh, this way, you can get the answer to your question without having to go to any web page. I usually use Perplexity when I want to know something quickly. If not, I just use Google search so I can see the search result myself. Aries search function isn't just limited to the web. It's actually similar to the, the Spotlight on Mac. It allows you to find specific files and apps on your computer as well. You can access documents, photos, and so on without navigating through multiple folders. Um, this makes it a great tool for staying organized and uh, getting more things done while working on your computer. At first, I honestly wasn't sure if it's worth having a, a second browser like this, but once I started using it, I kind of realized that it's actually very useful. First of all, the fact that I don't have to leave the current tab that I'm working on to check something else is really helpful. I don't have to switch apps and uh, go through my tabs to find what I need, which means less context switching and uh, less distractions. I can stay focused on the, the current tasks I'm working on. And uh, another huge benefit that I notice is that being able to check my to-do list, calendar, notes, and so on with just one keyboard shortcut has been a, a big time saver. Having access to my most used tools in less than a second makes my life much easier and uh, less stressful. And finally, I, I noticed that ever since I started using Airy, I've been keeping fewer tabs open in my browser. I used to have a like, tons of tabs open all the time, but now it's only a, a handful. I love this because I feel stressed when my browser is too crowded and I uh, cannot find the tabs I need quickly. Plus your browser becomes smoother as a bonus. Okay, there are many things I, I like about Airy, but honestly, the best part is that it's available for a one-time purchase instead of monthly or annual subscription, which is so rare nowadays. And it's not even crazy expensive. It's just $29. Without being biased, I think it's definitely worth the money. If you're interested, you can download it from the link in the description and see if you like it. It's available for both Mac and Windows, which is another thing I love about it because most apps like this tend to be Mac exclusive. All right, thank you so much for watching till the end and uh, I really appreciate sticking around until the very end. <laughs> and uh, if you liked it, please leave a like and uh, subscribe to my channel. All right, I will see you in the next one. Bye.